What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of MBI Motorsports. In this episode, we're going to be going over how to fully assemble the Harbor Freight 40 pound capacity floor blast cabinet. So stay tuned and we will see you guys in the rest of the video. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hey, like I said in the intro, we're going to be knocking out the 40 pound uh, floor blaster, AKA the uh, sand blaster from Harbor Freight. So I'm gonna get this thing knocked out. Sorry about the dogs barking in the background. I know they want out of their little kennel. But anyways, stay tuned. I'm gonna get the time lapse going. We will see you guys soon. All right, guys. We'll do the first unboxing of this thing. It definitely hasn't been pulled out yet. I don't even know what I'm getting myself into. But we will see. Let's take a look real quick. Oh yeah. If you guys don't know it already, I can't stand putting these things together. So it's a, uh... my dad always told me, when you grow up, you always wanna put your stuff together. Bicycles, you know, we get our bikes at the bike shop and my dad would always wanna be the one to put stuff together. And I don't understand. I mean, I, I do understand why he said that, but he definitely had more patience when it came to that stuff. But you can see this thing is going to be fun. Get this all laid out. You know, we'll probably get comments and guys should got a better one, but for a hundred and I think it was 180 bucks or something like that. I'm not going to complain about it, you know? And I've never been disappointed with the Harbor Freight stuff. So anyways, I'm gonna get the time lapse going on this. You guys can see me get this all unpackaged. Obviously you saw, I actually cut all the, the straps off, but I'm gonna get the time lapse going and we will see you soon. All right. Well, I don't know what I got myself into, but it is definitely not going to be fun. You can see here, this is my worst nightmare. But I will say, this is what I, I did not know that this came part of the kit. You definitely don't see it on display at Harbor Freight. It's a little LED light that goes inside the cabinet. Kind of cool. But we'll see for 180, 90 bucks, whatever it was. I think this would be perfect for what we're doing. Actually, it's perfect timing to show you guys why we're picking this up. You guys will see in the video. I'll post the link below or above us. Um, it's the NP205 disassembly and assembly. Obviously, we haven't taped the assembly portion yet, but this is what we got these for. So we knock a lot of these transfer cases out throughout the year. So that's what this bad boy is for. So we got to get my compressor over here from the house still. We've got Chris's little 27 gallon. I know that's probably not gonna be enough to power this bad boy, but I'm gonna get going on this and I'll give you guys quick updates. You'll see um, down below in the chapters, the time codes, what they call them, um, each portion. I'll make sure that's all time coded perfectly so you guys can just click the link, you know, how to install, you know, that's the support inside the cabinet before it drops down into the chute. So that's what you set your parts on right there. You know, be how to assemble the legs. You know, you guys can just click those links down below in the description, whether it's gonna be like three minutes, 30 seconds, six minutes. You click them, it'll actually take you to that portion of the video. So I'll make sure I get that all added for you guys. So you guys are able to navigate through the videos a lot easier. It doesn't mean don't watch the whole video. <laughs> it's just a lot easier to go back and have a reference point when you guys are doing these type of things, whether it's on the the Bronco builds or, you know, little projects like this in your shops. So stay tuned. You cannot seem to get to me. I am back with a stolen identity. Well, if you guys haven't been seeing what I've been doing, I've been taking this, uh, this, bolt and screw set 
that comes with the sand blaster and putting it into little Harbor Freight screw and nut dividers. If you guys have not purchased these, you know, just to store things in, I use the Milwaukee ones um, just because they stack and lock and do all those cool things. I'm a Milwaukee fan, but uh, I do use these Harbor Freight dividers for this reason. If you guys are not putting your stuff together like this, I don't know why. <laughs> I'm not even trying to be rude, but I know a lot of people just try leaving them in here. But the thing is, they make them all perforated on the back side, which means that you can pop them open, but you can't see what the um, if they're labeled <laughs> correctly. You can't see them unless they're marked from the back side. So I pull them out, put them in here. Obviously, we have a mess here. Just say something comes up, which like tomorrow probably will. I thought I was going to be able to finish this thing today, but I don't know. Um, I need to pack all this stuff up so we can get this table cleared out. Guess what? Take the tape, put it inside here, throw them in there. When we're all done, take the tape off, have an empty divider. This, obviously, you can see is brand new. We only, well, I only use this for doing these um, types of little projects. So when we're finished, put it all back, empty, and... You know, I have another project in the back of my truck that we'll probably do another video on, another review. But this is, um, to me, the best way because I know once we start going through these instructions, which all of us men do, um, you know, we're going to be only needing, you know, the 50, the 44, or sorry, the 54 and the 59 washer. It's the smaller ones. Take these with you. Bye bye. You know, work on it over there on the ground. You know, I, I put them out on the table at first and I was able to find my little storage case. So anyways, um, just getting this all organized real quick. I'm going to grab the tools to get this all knocked out and see how far I can get. So stay tuned. All right, we're starting the assembly of this thing. I'm going to make sure my mic's on. So first thing we got to do, the light clamps. So it says attach the light clamps, 37, to the inside of the cabinet rear plate using 19 using the bolts 50, 59, and 54. So, beautiful part, I already pulled them. You can see right here, get the drill out of the way. 50, 54, 59. Grab these bad boys. We're gonna get this thing taken apart real quick, or sorry, put together. I'll run these right here, I'm assuming. Yep, it's gonna sit right there. It's gonna sit right there. Get those attached, get this on the time lapse, and I'll be back. You know I see through anything. I'm a one man army with a bit of steam. Right, guys, you can see I got the light clamp on right there. Step number two is going to be getting the gloves and this mounting ring is all put on. So you can see I've got this stuff already taken out. Got the front plate sitting here. So we're gonna need the rings, which is number 33. Um, we'll be using 48, 59, and 54. So 48, 48, 48, 48. Where are you at? 48. All right, guys, hold on. 48, 59, and 54. All right, so again, they're all here. So we got 48, where are we at? 54. Oh, you guys, I do not see a 48. Uh, bolts 40. All right, so just a normal bolt, flat washer, and nuts. So stay tuned, we'll get this on the time lapse, and we will get going. The next step with all this is to get the entire cabinet put together. So we're gonna be going over to step four and get this 
the fun stuff put together. I can figure out that dust port with something else. But again, it's what you get when you pay 180 bucks for something. But I'm gonna get this time lapse going. Stay tuned. So you can see I got all this um, foam, it's single sided foam, just to make this thing airtight when we get it all put together. So what you want to do when you're doing all this, I just have a, um, a pick and I just ran through just like this, just to puncture that hole and all these holes. I already pre-punched pre all of these before the video, so I'm just a little bit wider. But uh, that's all we did on this. But I just want to give you guys a you know, step-by-step -step instruction on how to get one of these together. Um, we will be doing another video on a review on this thing. If you guys ever wanted to per you know, pick one up and put it together yourself, get ready because it is a pain in the butt. But um, Chris isn't here right now, so which is why we're doing this. Well, I'm doing this. Just do a quick little video. I try to get videos out day by day, but uh, I'm running out of light here. Sorry about that bright light if you guys can't see. But anyways, I'm going to get back to this. Hopefully, I can get this thing wrapped up by tonight, at least just the, the cabinet attached to the legs and stuff like that. So I'm going to get flying with this. So stay tuned. Started. Alright guys, quick update on the sandblast table or booth, whatever you want to call it, cabinet. That's the word, cabinet. So, got it all put together here. Sorry about the glare. But, uh, yeah, I think that's it for the instructions on the cabinet. How it looked, but I got the, got that all on. But yeah, it's uh, coming together pretty, pretty good. So, anyways, um, <laughs> One thing about Harbor Freight that I cannot stand is having to assemble everything. Everything's got to be assembled. So that's the difficult part about this stuff. But, you know, it's, it's not too bad. You know, I'd probably say it's it'd be a couple hours, maybe two, three hours to put this thing together. Obviously, the only thing I have left is the hopper, you know, the funnel, and uh, yeah, the glass and the little, you know, the the electrical stuff like that but yeah you know that's where we're at but i'm gonna keep going on this it's about five o'clock i have an hour to get home and get some dinner well at least if, that is if i want to eat with the wife but anyways stay tuned guys well the next part of this the light and switch so i'm gonna get this all put together real quick so i have a crazy bad glare coming at that get this light switch put together Get the LED light put in. It's all going up in here. Oh, it's kind of hard to see. That was actually step one is getting that, um, getting the light holder all assembled to the back plate here. So stay tuned, guys. We'll get that light put in and keep you guys up to date. Doesn't matter. I'm broken and I'm shattered. There's no I got the light installed to the clamp. You can take see here. I don't know how well you guys can see. Let me get this light turned on real quick. So I'm able to get the clamps on the light. Now I just need to run this through here. And obviously it's just gonna sit like that. And we got the switch that goes on the side that turns that on. And obviously with everything else. But moving right along, so stay tuned. So we got to get this funnel put together. So I'm gonna start with that, get this pushed out of the way. 
see how much further I can get. Looks like we're going to be going into tomorrow morning before Chris gets here to get this all knocked out. I want this all out of the way before we start tomorrow's project. So anyway, stay tuned, guys. guys you were able to see that I got the funnel done got that all knocked out I just need to get the grate put in there get this put in it's the parts holder the legs put on and this thing will be close to wrapping all up so um, it's about six o'clock now but I'm gonna get out of here get some dinner I'll be back first thing in tomorrow morning for part two for this get it all wrapped up before Chris gets here so we'll see you guys in the morning have a good evening What's up guys? Welcome back to day two of the sandblast cabinet assembly. So as you guys saw in the, um, the earlier video, we we're able to get the, the funnel done. We we're able to get the cabinet done, got the light installed, got the gloves installed. So yeah, it's moving together pretty good. Um, I think the only thing we have to do now is get the, the funnel attached to the parts holder and the grate. You know, obviously it keeps all the big stuff from falling down in the funnel. That could be interesting. Obviously we're not going to be putting super, super small stuff in there. And then the legs. So that's where we're at right now. Let me get this turned back around. So I hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you guys made it this far to the video, please make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you guys can stay up to date with all the new content. I'm gonna get going on this before Chris gets here. I think he's gonna be here around 11 today. It's about seven in the morning right now, so it's cold. It's early, so how to get the dogs ready, fed a little bit earlier than you know their normal schedule, but stay tuned and we'll see you guys in the rest of the video. All right guys, legs are on. Had to take this back out. Realize the instructions, the reason why they weren't in there is because that is for the kit that does not include the legs. So I think that kit was like 130. So for 50 bucks, <laughs> you get legs. So it's pretty much the same kit. Um, but anyways, that has to go down here, which pretty much like a little shelf for the sandblaster. So Hopefully this microphone's not picking up too much of that heater over there. But anyways, I'm going to get this all pieced together real quick and uh, get this thing all tidied up. All right. It is all put together. One thing I have left to do is put the, the glass and the glass trim on, but oh, and the door latch right here. That's pretty much it though. It's all put together. The only thing I was bummed about was this dust port. I've looked everywhere for this. Don't see it. Have no clue where it's at. But uh, anyways, I'm going to get this glass put on and get this thing put back in the corner and start on the next project. So stay tuned. All right, guys, that is a wrap on today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We were able to get this thing all knocked out. And you can see, lights all on, working, glasses installed, good to go. Got some shelves down here. We can put some stuff on if we need to while we're working on it. But that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you guys in the next video.